Welcome to our weekly drawing demos. My name is Miss Kat and I'm the Fillmore Librarian, part of our wider Ventura County Libraries. And each week for the last year or so, you've joined us here on Facebook for a drawing lesson that has to do with all of our favorite children's illustrators. So we've drawn characters from some of our favorite children's books and today we are continuing with our William Stieg theme. Um, last week we learned how to draw Sylvester and the Magic Pebble and today we are going to draw one of Stieg's most iconic characters, Shrek. And so this is the story you might remember um, that inspired the movie Shrek. So if you enjoy those movies, then I hope you're gonna enjoy learning how to draw the original character by William Stieg. So we like to keep things really simple here for our drawing demos. We only need something to draw with. I like to use a Sharpie. And something to draw on, some plain paper. So if you've got both of those things, then we are gonna go ahead and get started. All right. So our big green friend, the fearsome but lovable Shrek. We're gonna go ahead and start in the top half of the paper and draw a short line right in the middle. And then we're gonna go ahead and draw these two lines mirroring one another on each side. That's the top of Shrek's head there. And, and right kind of in the middle of his face, we're gonna draw his long ears. And then we can do two roundish circles on each side for his ears. Okay. The nice thing about Stieg's illustration style is you don't have to worry about drawing really, really straight lines. It's actually kind of like the squigglier the better with him. So we're gonna go ahead and bring down Shrek's jowls. All right, you can make him kind of lopsided. Adds to the charm, right? That's gonna be kind of like a chin right there. And then on each side, this will be like his neck, sort of. <laughs> okay, that's the basic outline. Then we're gonna go ahead, let's draw his nose because that's kind of just takes up the central real estate on his face there. It can be kind of a general oval. That will be what could be described as a smile line, but is really more like a grimace line in Shrek's case, right? Very scary. Do a slightly shorter one on the other side. Then we're gonna draw just kind of like a jagged line coming across his face for his top lip. And then that's the bottom. All right, and let's draw his teeth. They're pointed and kind of mis mismatched here. Draw a small one right in there. You can put them anywhere. And then I'm just gonna color in the background here so they really stand out. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and give him his fearsome eyes, his blood red eyes, right? This is gonna be his brow furrow right in the middle. And then we'll draw his thick caterpillar brows at an angle, just like that. And then Those can be his eyes. Pretty scary stuff, huh? We'll do two small dots right there. Awesome. 
So we've got kind of the general face. Let's go ahead and add all his warts. And you can just kind of drop your pen wherever for the warts. All right. So as many as you like all over. Right there. <laughs> looking good. And really when it comes to Shrek, looking bad is looking good, right? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead, we'll draw his hair, which is really kind of like described as a straw-like, right? So it doesn't have to be very nice looking coming out of the sides of his head there. Great. And then we're gonna just draw his big hulking shoulders coming down. Great. Giving him that really menacing appearance, right? So we've got his hair, we've got his face, got the start of his shoulders here. Let's go ahead and continue his tunic. So we're gonna draw kind of the arm, the arms of the tunic there. Great. And then let's get his arms continued in his sleeves. Come down on either side. They're kind of like rough rectangles, just slightly curved. Okay, we'll draw his belt. Draw like kind of a little rough circle there for the knot on it, okay? Gonna do like a little line there. Awesome. Let's give Shrek his claws. We're gonna go ahead and on the end here, he's got four fingers on each hand. Again, they don't have to be perfect looking. Just kind of loop them around, okay? Looks like he's got big thumbs. So we'll give him big thumbs. Awesome. And now he needs claws for his hands, right? Because he's very ferocious. So we'll just draw little curved triangles there for him. Awesome. Okay. So we've got the top half of his tunic. Let's continue it now. It's gonna go right along here on each side. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw two lines on each part for his legs, all right? You can kind of end them roughly the same spot. Great. So from here, we just need to add the boots and then we'll move on to our details. So the boots are pretty large. One on each foot. Okay, so now is the fun part really, it's the details, right? So we're gonna go ahead and add a little design to his shirt and then some stripes on his sleeves and his leggings. Awesome, we'll do those on the leggings too. And again, they don't have to be super straight lines. We can just keep them kind of general. And then 
with your pen or whatever you have, go ahead and make those kind of, I don't know, well, kind of like half moons, I suppose they are, semicircles. All around his tunic. I'm going to go ahead and continue that one like it came under his belt. Almost done. All right, very cool. Then all we need to do really is add some kind of like squiggly lines to his rope belt. And voila, we have ourselves a Shrek. So if you've done all that, then you have learned how to draw William Stieg's Shrek, the one and only. And remember, you can check out William Stieg's books from our library. And if you're curious about any other characters that we've learned how to draw over this past year, you can go ahead and head to our YouTube channel. It's under Ventura County Libraries, that's our username, and then the playlist called Steam Fun, that's where all of the drawing demo lessons are gonna be. So if you're curious about how to draw Mo Willem's Pigeon, or Madeline, or Winnie the Pooh, then you can go there and find out how to draw all of them. So thanks again for joining us today, guys. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Um, if you'd like to, go ahead and take a photo of your drawing and you can leave it in the comments below. We'd love to see how your Shrek came out today. All right. Well, thanks again for coming. We'll see you next time. Take care.